Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you the ranking function and ranking function at the multiple categories level like you have the furniture category which is main category and then you have a subcategory as well and then what I'm showing you over here is two different rankings. The first ranking is based on the overall table if you see the rank number one starts here then the rank two is here so on and so forth based on wherever these values are so that means the scope of this rank is the entire table however the second one which i am showing you the scope is only this particular section that means only the one category is basically the uh, scope so if you see the rank one is over here so at the level of furniture it is rank one but overall it is rank two so what it allows you to do the comparison as well Similarly over here it is the rank number 11 for the entire table but for its own category it is the rank number 4. So it increases the visibility. So if this is the scenario you are trying to achieve then what I will show you is the formula over here as to how you can achieve it right. And uh, if you are wondering how you can get this data uh, to do the practice then let me show you. So over here if you see this is my uh, link the, this is the link which i will give you in the description you will land in the data sets folder okay in the data sets folder you are going to find the data sets sheet in the data sets sheet which is present over here the row number 19 is where the data set is it has many other different data sets and you can utilize it if you need it also i keep all of my videos in a google uh, google sheet so that you can easily search and find any of my previous 300 plus videos that I have posted so that searching is easy and the link is present over here you can easily jump onto that without further issue okay so this is to help you now coming back to the scenario which is here so this is basically the two different functions that I have created and let me show you the first one the rank for second dimension so over here if you are able to see I hope and if I will just increase the size so you will see the rank for uh, two dimensions is basically what's the general name that I have created so this is the full table level so what we are saying is we rank x function within that I am showing you the or what we need to get is the all function because we need two different values or two different uh, fields category and subcategory because we are considering both that is why the scope has gone to the entire table and we are saying calculate uh, the sum of order sales this is important otherwise you will not going to get the rank and I have explained in my previous video where I have initially showed you the rank function and then we are saying descending order that means the, the highest value will be the first value right similarly the so this is basically the formula for the first column as you can see so you can simply copy it from here and paste it uh, in in your sheet based on the fields that you are having now second is at the section level or a category level well in that case if i show you the formula this is the rank x which is again uh, all function but this time we are only taking subcategory because we need to produce only at the subcategory level which in terms basically says that only within the category you are doing the, the comparison or creating the rank so other than that everything is same calculate sum of order sales right and then descending order so what it is it is at the second dimension level similarly if you have as many dimensions as you uh, it is there in the in this particular uh, basically pivot table or matrix or let's say you have the chart you can produce your scenario very easily so I hope you found it useful and uh, you are able to get these formulas and get a comparison as to when to produce which one. Also this can be an interview question so make sure you know you know this and uh, it is helpful for you when you are facing an interview. Okay so with that thank you so much for watching and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic.